Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm in my T29 again, and this is a battle in Redshire. Wish they would have done something to Redshire to make it better in 8.9. Because 8.9 is out today. Today is October 31st, 2013. Now usually there's tanks that are going to drive up over this ridge here, so I'm just going to cover this thing off and try and watch for any enemies that want to try and come around the other side. For some reason, most of our team is still in the spawn area, and it's just like, it's perplexing. Why are you all sitting there? Why is the KV-1 sitting in the open? Why is it, like, why? <laughs> Learn how to play. Oh, I'm getting over here, and... Oh, yeah. Nothing juicier than a kv one nest turret. Whew! And there's a lot of... A lot of Spanish going on in the, the chat. Something about tacos. Gusto, good tacos. <laughs> Something like that. Mi gusto taco. Ay, Chihuahua! Poof. So, critical hit on the, the little VK scout tank. I'm just gonna pop him here. And he's gonna get run down by the T3485. Bye! And of course, artillery. Sure, he hit me. He does eventually die, I think. I hope he would. So I smashed the Hellcat, and I'm still getting shot by Artie. And they've spotted some of them now, so... You're gonna die. See ya! This was such a satisfying... mission right here, because I got high enough on the ridge here that I was able to spot this guy where he was. Oh yeah, aiming down, aiming down, aiming down. Oh yeah! It's a little bit of revenge there for them shooting me. <laughs> yeah, it's good. I'm up to three kills. This is nice. It's a tier 7 game that's mm, pretty heavy tier 7. A lot of tier 5s. Even some tier 4s. Oh, actually, no. There's no tier 4s. There's only tier 5s. So I am going to crest the hill here. Oh, not fast enough to take out the Churchill one, evidently. And there's a real chance that they could end up capping here. So I've got to try and get in there at some point. So let's get south. But I've got a really nice shot at the Panther M10. Enemy armor is damaged. Come on, I can't not take that. And then he's stealth modes. I'm just going to keep my gun pointed over there just in case they pop up again. And there's an AT2 sitting out in the middle of the open. I'm not sure why he was there. Penetration. Takes a heavy shot right in the back of the head for me. And before I can get a shot at him, he gets perished. The T-43 is shooting at the Hummel. You can see he's trying to run away. So the T-43 pops the AT-2. Come on, T-29. Let's go. I love the T-29. It's just such a big, hulky-looking tank. It's so badass. T-43 
for a three takes him out. Oh, and spot the other T29 over here. And he's going to pull out at some point in so I can get a shot at him. Get a nice roll on him for 340 damage. T43 is engaging the Panzer IV. They're still trying to cap. It's probably their only chance at this point. But they do have two of their heavier tanks left. So I pull out. I had a shot at the T29, but he stealth moded. Oh, now he's back. Put a good shot into him. He's not really trying to angle too much. Now I got hit. Probably by the tiger. Oh, yeah. And that's the smell of fire. <laughs> so I ended up setting him on fire at the end. Did a pretty good amount of damage. That one was about 3,600. Yeah, so that one was a, a pretty good battle. I uh, ended up doing right about 3,600. I just checked. And uh, got four kills, which is not that. Two of them are already shots, but it was nice to be able to shoot them after they were shooting at me. Ended up getting Master Gunner and a Sniper Badge and over 50,000 credits for that fight. So that concludes this T29 replay. Thanks for watching. See you next time.